Well, good chilly morning to you all, my friends. If you hopped in your Lexus this morning and you see some alarming symbols, don't panic. Happy Tech Tip Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to the Lexus Virtual Classroom here in Houston, Texas at West Side and North Side Lexus. I'm so glad you're here with us today. It is another chilly morning. And sometimes if you live in an area like we do where you can have a cold snap, which means it could be suddenly cold, when you have a quick drop in temperature, it can really drop the air pressure in your tires and trigger a tire pressure warning light because the air molecules will shrink in the cold and expand in the heat. So that means that if they've dropped just a little bit low, when you drive for a little while, you'll see that the tire pressure is going to come back up and it might even turn off that low tire light. But it's a good idea to check the tire pressure in all of the tires and go ahead and head over to your Lexus dealer or somewhere that can service your tires to make sure that you have the proper tire pressure. It's going to help with not only safety, but ride quality and fuel economy. Locate your tire pressure information just inside the driver's door. You'll see a metallic sticker and it'll give you cold tire pressure. And this doesn't necessarily mean cold like it's cold today. This means that not being driven. So the air in the tires will heat up as you drive. So you wanna make sure that you have proper tire inflation before you have driven a great distance. This is a great number to be aware of. PSI is pounds per square inch of pressure. It's going to give you information based on front tires and rear tires and even your spare tire. It's always a good idea if you have a vehicle with a spare on board to check and service the spare tire every time you check and service your main tires. If you have a tire pressure monitor system with a screen on the multi-information display, scroll through your multi-information display until you locate the tire pressure screen. If your tire pressure readout is clear, it just means it hasn't calibrated for this drive cycle. Go ahead and drive a little bit and you'll see the tire pressure register on the screen. And there you go. If you've driven for quite a while and the tire pressure doesn't register on the screen, it might mean that your system needs to be recalibrated or reinitialized at your Lexus dealer. If you're in an older model Lexus that shows the tire pressure, but in a list format and you're not quite sure which tire it's representing, you wanna make sure to check your tire pressure at the tire itself. And the same is true if you have a Lexus vehicle that doesn't give a tire pressure warning screen on your display on the dash. So I had all of my tires inflated to 35 PSI, and you'll notice that just with normal driving, the air pressure in the tires fluctuates, and that's totally normal. If your tire pressure warning light doesn't clear after the tires have been properly inflated, make sure to consult your owner's manual or your local Lexus dealership for instructions on how to reset the system. Well, thanks for visiting us at the Lexus Virtual Classroom here at Northside and Westside Lexus. It's been great having you here today. If you like these tech tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click that bell so that you can be notified the next time we release a tech tip video. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.